Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Welcome to GAINS Home Dumbbell Workout Series 2. Now, during GAINS Series 1, we covered the 80 foundational home dumbbell exercises and we trained in 12 reps, 3 sets format. In this series, we're going to dig a little bit deeper and combine short isotonic sets with its isometric equivalent to really get those muscles pumping. We want to be able to help everybody with access to dumbbells in the simplest way possible. So in this series, we'll alternate between training your left side and your right side when unilateral exercises are required. We'll work dual sets of 45 seconds. This will be made up of 30 seconds isotonic repetitions immediately followed by 15 seconds of an isometric set. Let's get through each complex set twice before moving on to the next exercise. If you like, you can drop your weight between the first and the second round. We'll tell you what weight we're using as a guide, but remember to be smart about your choice of weight and let's mitigate any potential for injury. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you do so, so that you can keep up with our weekly uploads. Before we get started, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank our channel members. Your support of our channel enables us to produce these workouts for you, and we're grateful for your support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member and getting access to all the workouts in this series, then be sure to hit that join icon. Channel membership starts from only $3 a month and it gives you full access to us. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get started with GAIN Series 2, the next level in your home dumbbell workouts. This is a traditional dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Our feet are at shoulder width, our toes are pointing forward, and then we're hinging with a nice flat back, making sure that the dumbbell is dropping vertically and there's no horizontal movement at all. So the trick here is to push your butt back as you're hinging and drive with your hips forward by really squeezing your glutes and working your way back up into that upright posture. For your isometric set, let's go into the low position of that RDL and let's try and maintain it there for 15 seconds. Your isotonic exercise is a dumbbell Romanian deadlift with a twist. As you can see, when we hinge down, we're twisting our upper body marginally and making sure that the dumbbell lands in front of one of our shins. And then we're alternating lefts and rights. As always, we're looking for a flat back and we're making sure that our knees are soft in order to protect our back. Make sure that your feet are parallel and they're at shoulder width. For your isometric exercise, we'll drop down the middle, get into that hinge and just hold it isometric for 15 seconds.
your isotonic exercise is a booty squat. So this starts off as a regular squat with your feet parallel at shoulder width. Then you hinge forward into what would look like our Romanian deadlift. And then we come back into our upright position. Make sure that there's no hunching of your back any time throughout this exercise. So you've got to keep that flat back the whole time. For your isometric set, we'll just drop down and hold the isometric squat for 15 seconds. This is a traditional dumbbell sumo deadlift. Make sure that your feet are nice and wide. Make sure that your toes are pointing out at 45 degrees. And make sure that you're dropping the dumbbell towards the floor in a vertical line. There's no horizontal swing at all. As you drop down, open those knees up and make sure you keep your back nice and flat. So you'll get this not just in your lower back and your glutes, but you're going to feel it inside your thighs in your sartorius as well. For your isometric set, let's go to the low position of your sumo deadlift. Again, making sure your back's flat and making sure your knees are nice and open. And let's just hold that position for 15 seconds.
This is an alternate side squat, but you can see we're hinging over as we drop to the bottom. And what this will do is it'll really get into your hips adductors and your sartorius on the inside of your thighs. So this is fantastic if you're trying to firm those inner thighs. Make sure when we drop to one side and bend the knee, we extend the opposite knee and keep it hard straight. And another really good indicator is make sure that your legs are nice and wide. Don't shorten your stance for this exercise. For your isometric set, we'll go straight down the middle and just hold the that hinge for 15 seconds. Your isotonic exercise is a weighted glutes bridge. We've gone with a nice heavy dumbbell for this one and we're just making sure that our head is rested on the floor. Elevate your hips until you've got a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your knee. If you can squeeze past that, it'll be even better. And make sure that you're keeping your feet nice and parallel. For your isometric set, let's go to the top of the exercise. Make sure that you've engaged your glutes and your erectors and let's hold that position for 15 seconds.
Your isotonic exercise is a prone swimmer kick. You can see we're lying prone and we're making sure that our knees are nice and straight. So you've got a full body extension. When you do your flutters, you're making sure that your knees are not touching the floor. So this is going to help with keeping your glutes and your lower back engaged the whole time throughout the isotonic set. Now at this point, you may require a little bit of a stretch. So let's go into a child's pose. So spread your knees until they're at shoulder width, maybe even marginally wider. Extend with your arms and drop your chest as close to the floor as you can get it. This is a nice tough exercise guys, it's a horizontal flutter and we're doing it with a stiff leg with a 90 degree hips hinge so that your leg is adjacent to your body. Make sure you keep that knee nice and stiff and just flutter up and down in front of you. The dumbbell is going to weigh you down so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult but this is a fantastic exercise for your outer glutes. For your isometric set, we'll just hold your horizontal pose nice and still for 15 seconds. If this gets a little bit difficult, lose the dumbbell.
we've switched over and we're doing our horizontal flutter with our left leg this time. So again, bring that leg around until it's in front of you, adjacent to your body. Make sure that your knee remains nice and stiff and then flutter up and down with a flexed foot and making sure that you're leading with your ankle. Your glutes will burn up like it's nobody's business. Now for your isometric set, let's hold that horizontal adjacent position and let's try and maintain it for 15 seconds. Again, if this gets really difficult and you can't handle it, lose your dumbbell. This is a weighted glutes bridge, but all we're doing is we're hitting some pulses at the top of the exercise. So we're essentially not releasing the glutes and we're not letting our erectors off the hook. Make sure that your feet are parallel at shoulder width for balance and make sure that you constantly squeeze and try and hit the top of the glutes bridge. Keep your head rested and keep looking at the ceiling. For the isometric set, we'll go to the top of the glutes bridge and just hold it nice and still, nice and firm and maintain our position for 15 seconds.
This is a prone donkey kick using your left leg. So you can see we're lying nice and prone on the floor. We're flat and we're squeezing our glutes and our erectors and just pushing our foot up vertically as though you're trying to put your shoe imprint on the ceiling above you. Let's try and go with full range repetitions. So get your knee to the floor and then squeeze and lift as high as you can. For the isometric set, let's go to the top of the donkey kick and let's try to maintain our position. This involves squeezing your glutes, squeezing your erectors and just holding tight for 15. Let's switch over and work with the right leg this time. So we're going into that same prone position and hitting those donkey kicks one at a time. Make sure that you're leaving your body nice and flat and then just pick up your knees and try and get your right foot as high as it's going to go. Focus on squeezing your glutes and your erectors. For your isometric set, again, let's go to the top of this exercise and let's hold it there for 15 seconds.
well done for completing today's Games Home Dumbbell Workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did today. We love hearing from you and are always interested in your feedback. If you're done working out for today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. We look forward to bringing you another Gains Home Dumbbell Workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.